Hey guys, uh, it's Cam with Tecamo, and we just stopped at the uh, Ghidor booth. They got a lot of really cool stuff that we don't have back home. Anyways, I'm gonna play with their display for a bit, so uh, don't mind me. Look at that, it's nice. It's super low back drag. It's like it doesn't take much to turn the ratcheting mechanism. Feels pretty scoopum. I like the finish on this. They use that kind of matte type of finish and I, I actually really like it it's not too fine i don't know i find like when you get like the really fine tooth ratchet it's like too much like how many teeth do you need i make do with the teeth i got i don't know i'm a tooth short i make do <laughs> hey guys it's cam with uh Tecamo, and uh today we're at uh the Ghidorah booth with uh renee we got torque wrenches back home but they don't look like this and uh he's gonna go through some of the advantages of their type of torque wrench and yeah, just we'll let him kind of take over and tell us about the product. So, hi Cameron. Nice to meet you on the yeah. Bauma. Good to meet you. On the booth. So, torque wrench is a, is a big topic everywhere. And uh, to explain uh, some basics, normally you have uh, torque wrenches with a tube and they end from the torque nearly up to 1000 Newton meters. And the special ones we have here, the Dremometer one, it's not length independent. <laughs> and that's something. Uh, not everyone knows that most of the torque wrenches you have in the market are length independent. You have to grip it on the handle. For a dremometer, we can use tubes, grip it where you want, and uh, have no differences in torque you have set. These are like a click type of torque wrench? I think you uh, call them clicker. Yeah, we call it like a click type clicker torque wrench. Most guys, you guys probably have this in your toolbox, something similar to this. Are so these... it's normally a short clicking torque wrench, yeah. and you have your release here, it's a two or three degree. Normally. Yeah, so it just gives you a little yes. bump. Yeah. Yes. These guys, are they like a split beam? Like the snap-on split beams? Those are really popular for a lot of us, uh, especially in the field. A lot of guys like split beams because they're reliable. You can leave them set and it doesn't matter. There's no spring to, to stay tensioned ah, okay. and wear out. The point you talk about yeah. is uh, it's also working with a spring. Yeah. But uh, you don't have it. Have to do it uh, shortly after you have uh, tighten your screw okay so it's uh, important that you do yeah. it after a time yeah so you still zero it yes. you zero your torque wrench yes. back when you're done for the day that's a basic thing anybody turning a wrench should be taking care of your tools you should be zeroing your torque wrench anyways you know the exception being the split beams a lot of guys know they leave them preset maybe also when you have your split beam or yeah. your spring inside yeah the three types we have here from the mechanic is short clicking torque wrenches long clicking torque wrenches and slipper torque wrenches yeah and when you have a short clicking torque wrench like the Dremometer, it's uh, special that it's not length independent. And I will show you on the torque tester how it works so you can see it in, in torque. Yeah. What happens? <laughs> the problem on this stylus, <laughs> the people uh, don't uh, learn the basics of these torque wrenches, how to use it. It's important to show it on a torque tester. Yeah because you can see uh, the torque in numbers. Normally on your screw, you don't see it. Mm -hmm. So here it's very important to set up to 25 Newton meters and I have to grip it on the handle and it works. But what happened when I don't grip on the handle here or here, what happened? It makes click, but not at 25, it's higher. And when I grip it here, it's below. Yeah. And that's very important for small torque wrenches that you put it in the middle of the handle. And the reason is where you can uh, see what kind of torque wrenches are length independent. From here to here, we have one lever. From here to here, the other one. And that's the reason when you see this kind of torque wrenches, it's important that you have to grip only the handle. Yeah. When we look on the thermometer, nearly the same. What happened when I put it here? It's the same. And the reason is, yeah. we have no second lever. What do we call it the bend axis or whatever you want to call it, where it, uh, where it gives you your click is the center line this, of the socket. Yes, Got it. and that makes this really special. And these system uh, make it possible to realize 3,000 Newton meter yeah. to handle with an aluminum torque wrench. Okay. And, it's, and it's not heavy. Yeah, and that's light. It's light white. pretty light. Yeah. Okay, so these are just fixed ends too? Yes, because so, normally yeah. you take another tool, a ratchet, yeah. and the last few degrees you take yeah. a torque wrench. Yeah. That's, that's a normal use of it. It's reversing too, eh? Right? You just flip it around and it looks like you can reverse your torque, right? So it feels good. Like it feels like a nice quality tool. Like it has like a nice positive click too. 
Yeah, I like it. I want to handle the big one. Yeah. Okay. That's a big unit. Uh, the handle's steel? Yes, right. Yeah, and then the top is yes. aluminum. Yes. So that's but that's pretty light, all things considered, also man. Light, light white. I feel like Gandalf with and this thing. Right in range. <laughs> so you can get this, and then you get your torque multiplier, and you can put out like 6,000 Newton meters if you wanted. So this will do uh, 1,500 Newton meters? Yes, yeah. because from the size, the 3,000 one is yeah. nearly in a half meter longer. So and, and not really bigger. A half meter longer? Half meter longer. So than there's this one, one a half meter longer. So if you guys want so it's really not big... really the biggest one. <laughs> this, isn't, <laughs> this isn't even the biggest one. So that's pretty, that's pretty skookum, man. That's a, that's a tool and a half. Um, is this uh, reversible, this one? No. So the biggest one with two double square drives, so a double square drive is up to 2,000 Newton meters. Yeah. But the biggest one, to 3,000, had only one. Okay. If I wanted to calibrate this, can I do it myself or do I have to send it out? Yes. We have two types so. of calibration. So okay. the normal industry calibration <clears> says <throat> after a period, period of time, you have to make a new test with a new certificate. So that's the main calibration. And now we have, since years, we call it in between this time calibration, we have a quick tester. So it's only a checking one. Yeah. And it means when you check, oh, it's outside of the tolerance, it's time to make your uh, main calibration and uh, adjusting on the torque wrench. Okay. So you can so you test guys it in sell the field. Yes. that as well then as a, yes, as a tool? Yes, up to 3,100 Newton meter. Okay, so they sell up to a 3,000 Newton meter field yes. testing unit. So. That's something I'd probably be interested in getting, is having something to just check our own torque wrenches in-house instead of waiting for the snap-on guy to maybe show up once a week or so. Cameron, uh, yeah. on the square drive, we are talking about yeah. uh, this two-side, one-side calibration. <clears throat> when we have a double square drive, we can change the direction, but only one calibration. But for the smaller torque wrench, I think that's also interesting for you. Yeah. When you have torque wrenches with this mesh room head, we have the same system, that's good to know, because mostly we have in the market torque wrenches with a ratchet you can change, yep. it's fixed, and there we have the problem when you change it, it's only calibrated for normally right calibration, yeah, yeah. right tightening. Yeah. And here, when you have this mass room head, you can do the same, like here, okay, you can so change you just, it. There so you it's go. really nice, because <clears throat> we have the direction on it. That brings me up, do you guys have any flex head attachments for any of these kind of things, or no? These, they're strictly a fixed head like this, right? You mean this one? Yeah, with our torque wrenches, you can get a flex head. It doesn't flex fully, but usually you can get a few degrees out of it. Oh. And that just helps clear your knuckles when you're trying to, you know. know. You know where the problem is when you have this flex head. I know it from Snap-on. Yeah. So it makes it easy for you when yeah. you're working to have a little degree you can work with it because yeah. there's something uh, you can uh, pull on it when it was stri straight 90 degree. Yeah. And the problem was there because when you change your angle, you change your, your torque yeah. into the screw will also change a little yeah. bit. And sometimes some people go two up yeah. and it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Really. So that's something in a, in a torque critical application, Yes. Uh, you'd really you try to limit using a flex head if you can, right? It's not going to be as accurate. You would know that. Being a mechanic, you should know that. This is going to be probably one of the most accurate ways to torque is with a fixed head. So these are an attachment for the Dreamweaver torque wrench, and you can use it for your ratchet. So okay. it's an add-on. You're not going to be using a torque wrench to drive down a fastener anyways. You use it for the last few degrees like we spoke about earlier. But if you absolutely need to put a ratchet on it, they do even make an attachment for it. It'd be a little bulky, but if that's what you want, you need a ratchet, then they actually have that. So you guys kind of got a solution for everything, eh? Yes, because yeah. <laughs> our range of, of uh, talks are, are yeah. big. It's well, really you, big, the like, portfolio. From what I see, like there's a lot of stuff here that like I think a lot of guys back home would make use of. For us, it's availability. We don't have, uh, like Ghidorah is yes. not really popular back home. Yes. From my, my experience here today, like putting hands on some of these uh, different manufacturers tools, like the like you can't even compare the quality on some of this stuff, right? Like, like it's 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 night and day between like the machining on the torque wrenches, like this. That's some pretty skookum stuff, man. Like you can't even touch that. It's really nice. I cannot overstate how nice some of this stuff feels in your hands, right? You know. That being said, I don't know where the price point is on Ghidorah tools, like compared to Snap-on tools. A lot of you guys on the channel that are mechanics, you guys probably have a three-quarter inch torque wrench. So just go based on that. What is the price point on the three-quarter inch? Because I know a lot of guys are going to ask, what does it, 
What does it cost, uh, the, the, you know, versus like the snap-on? So the range you have here up to uh, 760 Newton meters. Okay. You have a price range up to uh, 600, 700 euros. But it's a set. You have also inside the tube. <laughs> it's an aluminum tube. So yeah. when you have this in your hands, it's unbelievable how lightweight it is because the big yeah. one was steel and you have the ratchet inside. Okay. So it's a complete set. So this complete set goes for uh, uh, what is it's, it's it's nearly up to 700 euros. So 700 euros for this. So you guys can compare what a snap-on set, a snap-on torque wrench costs, right? You guys know I have one. I mean, I'm not going to say which one is higher quality on on, on camera, but there's uh, yeah, you have you, to feel it. You can feel you it. Have to feel if you it. touch one of these, man, you'll feel it. You can you can tell. And here you can see how it works. Yeah. So it's a smaller one. But okay. the system is the same. So you see the so spring, it, uh, the main system on it, but the special one was also our clicking system. We are working with the lever chain that, that make it really easy to work here with low force. You see that there are forged parts and we don't have small parts or something else. So this lever change with the whole mechanic are uh, heavy duty. So and everything's engineered to yes. last. And what do you think, how long we have this type of torque wrench in the market I don't know it looks brand new to me like okay. like you guys have been doing these for a while though over 60 years 60 years so this is a 60 year old design yes so this is a 60 year old design and it's working That's, still uh, now yeah and it's not if it's not broke don't fix it kind of yes. mentality it works yes. yeah let's talk about the torque multipliers because those look really beefy to me and yes. a lot different than the one I have at home when we left the range of the torque wrench the 3000 we have the bridge to the manual multipliers we have here yeah but it's important to say it's a torque multiplier because mostly we have only a gear that uh, do force yeah with a low force you put in and that's it yeah but then you only transfer force to loosen screws or something and that that works yeah. but when you are tightening screws it's very important to do it all also precise and the special one we do with our torque multipliers the manual versions are we do a calibration on them so you get a certificate with a graph where you can see which torque you need on your torque wrench to put in and what torque okay. get out so you guys will get, supply a certificate it'll give you a breakdown of what you need to put in to get the torque that you want out. And that's really important on some stuff that's torque sensitive because you, you can get a variance of like five, 10% on a torque multiplier depending on how much you're putting into it, right? And to make it easier for uh, people, we have made not only a certificate, we do also a label from the certificate with the main torques you need. So you see on every torque multiplier from the calibration. That's cool, because you, if you it's look, it's not really exact. nice. Yeah, so it's not exact. So you want a thousand, you put in 195.8, and that'll give you exactly a thousand. Co you know, correct. Calibrated to that. Correct. So, so this, is the, point. this is the normal reaction one. bar then? And Normally then it, we have uh, some system with a straight one. Okay. That means we can, and how to use it, it's shown you, on this. Yeah, so I was gonna touch on this too. This is interesting. If you were doing like Rotec bolts, if you get two sockets, put one on the one beside it, it's one the on the next rate. one, just bam, yes. bam, bam. Yes. So you can slide this guy uh, and just kind of index it wherever you need it to, to go. And put a socket on here and, and place it on like a pair of bolts. Yeah, see how they got like two sockets in the picture there? Yeah, this is how you, you this is the reaction. So with anything, um, any kind of sort of multiplier, they need a reaction on there. So this will spin, but then this would just keep spinning. So you have to have a way to lock this. So what they do is they have a socket here that locks on to the uh, like the adjacent bolt, and then it reacts against that. So then it would torque that up. I mean, you can get some uh, some pretty high torques out there on this stuff. So, so that's per size. perfect for guys like me. Perfect for guys like us. The other thing we did want to touch on is that. Yes. I can show you. You have it? Yes. You do have it? Yes. You, oh, I thought yes. you didn't have because it. Because we start with the basics, the okay. torque wrench. We go up to the multiplier okay. manual, and now we go from the so multiplier into the real to Gucci the uh, motor version. You can do now your torque setting on it to use the wheel. And it's also for uh, tightening and untightening. Okay. For right side, because when it turns it right, for tightening, It'll on the other side, yeah. yes, right. So it's really easy, torque is set, that's it. Oh, it's already torqued it. That's it. Wow. 
So now let's do, we can loosen it with that too? And yes. So I put it on the other side. Okay. And it uh, realized it's for right tightening and shows me it's for untightening. Okay. So it's the other side. But like it's not, the, is it not direction. calibrated then? If it's loosening? No. So no, no, not calibrated in reverse, no. just forward. Okay. That's it. Can I try it? Start a new one. It's for torque. Okay. So we can set you it. You can change it. You say okay. You can exactly go to 200. I go right say to okay. 200. Okay. And now you can go on the screw. All right. Reaction arm on the other side. On this side. That's it. Ah, oh, it's quick. Wow. That's uh, yeah. it's a question of time and uh, the amount of uh, screws you have to tie up. That's pretty, uh, that's full speed. Yeah. The two, two speed version. Yeah. So uh, for the fourth uh, gear, you gain this. Oh, that's really slow. So it's much faster than you do with the yeah. multiplier and so the torque do, wrench. Do you have to drop it down to first gear when you're going really high torque on this? Like when, yes, you, when right. you go to like 700, yes, right. you'd have to put it in first when to reach the torque. When we go on the maximum, we have to use yeah. uh, uh, first gear. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. That's a cool toy. I could get a big one. Oh, look at that. We're checking out the uh, power torque multipliers. So these will accurately torque up to, the small one does up to 700. That one does, what does that one do up to? That one looks mammoth. This one goes up to 4,000. That's pretty insane. Oh, and it's the same. Oh, Nate, uh, so, sorry, sorry, because I have to look on the first gear, because on the first gear we have the maximum, it's a 6,000. Oh, six so 6,000, so he was way 6, off. 6,000 newton meters. <laughs> For something that size, and it's battery powered, that's pretty good. Yeah, pretty excited to be playing with all this stuff. It's some pretty cool stuff. We have stuff similar to it back home, but this is the first time we put hands on the Ghidorah tools, and been uh, nothing but impressed with them so far. Uh, we'd like to try them out in the field, do some uh, do some real world testing on them one day. So maybe I'll be getting in touch with our local distributor and seeing what we can get our hands on, trying it out. Uh, we'll let you guys know. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. See ya. Screw on. Screw on. That's right, <laughs> screw on. Screw on.